Greetings! Salutations. It has been a while. And with some things have come up that have kind of kept me from making videos. One, I was, uh, I had a real hard time probably about a week ago. Uh, my knee was really bothering me and I was not sleeping very much at all. Um, and that was kind of just, I mean, I was going to work and coming home and sleeping. That was about all I was accomplishing. Um, but two days ago, my knee really come, started feeling much better. I don't know what's changed. Perhaps the amount of prayer <laughs> I was given to the good Lord above. But it has taken a very positive turn. And it's felt better than it has in probably three months. So I think we're on the mend there. I, of course, had the system that we went live with. Um, uh, everything was going really well. I got called into a meeting last Friday and was told that some of the guys were not following procedure. So I got my butt chewed out for about 45 minutes. I didn't expect that. As far as I knew, everything was working good. I've been emailing the people in charge, you know, making sure that they know I was passing these ideas and, and, and what they wanted done to the guys. And nobody had sent anything back about being any problems. I go to this meeting and suddenly there's these issues. A particular individual who is on the uh, gate committee uh, pretty much said that it was if the people, the guys working the front gate here, weren't doing the job, it had to be because of the lack of training from me. Now, mind you, the training I got for this system and the camera was pretty much non-existent. Non-existent. Uh, the camera especially, I just, I mean, I had to show the guy that in, owns the company how to use it. I mean, I don't know what they're expecting, all right? I mean, I'm good, but I can't walk on water. Um, so that kind of surprised me a little bit. I was a little aggravated by that because if there was an issue before that, why didn't they tell me? And I could have been working on it with the guys. So I felt I was kind of uh, a little... I felt I was brought into the meeting under false pretenses. And, you know, when you get your butt handed to you, and you're not expecting it, it's never a good time. So of course this week I'm cracking the whip here at work. I mean, I like, I like to be the kind of supervisor that communicates with people and gets things done in a positive way as you can. Because uh, if people start getting mad and upset, then you get more and more issues. If everybody's happy and people get along and you've got open communications, usually you don't have any problems. And like I said, I didn't think there was anything going on. Nobody had said anything to me. Everybody was good. Like I said, I was sending emails. Nobody was sending back emails saying, oh, well, there's this problem and then nothing. So I didn't appreciate that. And then, of course, today I come in and the system is down. And I mean down. Um, we have procedures we got to do about calling. And I called. And it's after 5 o'clock. This company has banker hours, let me tell you. It is strictly 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. But there's a guy that answers the phone on, at nights and weekends, and he talked to my guy, and he says, well, not more you can really do if you can't get it up, call after, uh, call tomorrow. So I had to send an email to all the people that are in charge of this to say, hey, listen, this system's down, and it is not our fault. I'm getting tired of being accused of the guys not being trained right when it's really the system's fault. So we'll see how well that goes over. I'm sure the system crashing will somehow be my fault. Nobody said being the supervisor was always fun. <laughs> uh, as for other things, uh, the fiance is doing well. Um, I have been doing really good. I don't know if I mentioned about trying to do some weight loss at the beginning of the year to you guys or not. It's a few, some videos. I know I had a lot going on, so I don't know if I got to that. Uh, but since January 1st, if you follow me on social media, you know I'm down 31 pounds. Um, so my goal is to get 105 pounds off by the end of the year. So uh, almost a third of the way there already. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'd like to get about 50 pounds off by my birthday, which is May 12th. And um, anyway, I've been working on that. The other issue I'm having is my phone, which is fine. But the carrier I got, uh, it just I got no reception at my house. Uh, I mean, people call and I don't even... Get a notification, and all of a sudden there's voicemail. I'm like, where did that come from? And that's an issue being a supervisor here at work. If something goes down, people got to call me. 
So I have to look into some stuff, and I really wanted to get something that had good coverage. I'm tired of always buying the cheapest thing. I really just want something that works. So I did what the internet is really designed for, research. If you really want to learn something and get information, the internet is brilliant for that. And I got into it, got through all that BS about who's the better and all this stuff. And I went in and read real stuff and looked at real reports. And as it turns out, Verizon has the best coverage in America. Now, the problem with that is, of course, is Verizon is the most expensive. But I need something that's going to have good coverage. So I'm going to give Verizon a try. I had Verizon when I was up in Maine. And when I moved down to Florida, I had coverage all the way down. It never was never an issue. Um, the problem was that the one house that I did live in when we got down here, I didn't have any signal strength inside the house. It's very strange. I don't know if it's Florida or it's me or what, but that seems to be my biggest problem. Anyway, I figured, you know what? It's been a few years. One thing Sprint did have, which I, you know, Sprint was the last big carrier I had, but then they didn't treat me very well, and that was about, what, I don't know, last fall or something. I left them. Uh, but one of the things that Sprint did have was what they call uh, Wi-Fi calling, which means if your signal strength is down or non-existent for cellular, the Wi-Fi still lets you make and receive phone calls. Now, you can get apps that let you call over Wi-Fi, but you don't use your number. And you don't get in receiving calls very well either. Well, one of the things that um, Verizon supposedly has is Wi-Fi calling. So even if the signal strength isn't great, if it has that feature, I would still get calls. So uh, I'm going to try it. And my dad had, um, I can't remember who my dad had. He had a, who was his carrier? It was the one from Walmart, the Walmart carrier. Probably track phone, I think is what it really was. Um, and he wasn't real happy either, so we're gonna we're gonna try Verizon and see how that works. Um, I had eight gigs, no, ten gigs on the of of um, high speed internet with this provider I have now. I dropped that down to six for Verizon because uh, now at work I have Wi Fi, so I don't need to have it here, and I got Wi Fi at the house, so most of the time I don't really use as much gigs as I used to. So the six gigs is more than enough for what I'll be doing. And I'm just kind of going to try it and see if it works. Hopefully it does. Solve some problems. That'll be good. So that's about it. I do apologize. Like I said, not getting a video up sooner. But I just have had a lot of things going on since the beginning of the year. And this whole thing with the work and everything is just eating up a lot of my time. And then the knee issue was really, I mean, it was killing me. It, was, it wasn't working. And my day's off. I just wanted to keep my leg up because my knee hurt so bad. I haven't had a chance to ride my scooter in almost three months. So, there's been a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, I'm back, and hopefully things are going to get better. Uh, I should be getting my Verizon SIM card tomorrow. So, once that gets here, I'll let you guys know if that solves my problem. All right, I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll catch you beautiful people in the next video.